Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami from Civil Engineers and today in this important video lecture I am gonna talk about why plant beam design and building many civil engineering students they are asking from me that sir if we don't provide if we don't design plant beam and building construction so is the building safe or not so for that purpose today I am gonna recording this video that why plant beam design and building construction work so i will tell you some important benefits of design of plant beam and building construction and after that it's up to you is it required to design and building construction or not so let's start if the video is helpful for you so must like the video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates so why plant beam design and building construction so first of all here you can see these two are footings for these two columns you can see this this is plant beam this is plant beam this is a ground level these two are footings for these two columns this is the depth of plant beam first of all I will tell you that plant beam should be designed from RCC reinforced cement concrete it should be not construct from PCC it must be RCC beam right so it's mainly reinforced cement concrete beam right now here are some benefits of plant beam and why are the purpose of plant beam that why we provide plant beam in building construction why it's important to design and building construction so the first one is it's prevent cracks from the foundation to the wall you know guys this is plain beam and here we do brick masonry on this plain beam so it prevent cracks from foundation so here this is foundation this is substructure and we design plain beam our plain beam is required to design and building construction because it's prevent cracks from the foundation because cracks come from the foundation to the wall so it's prevent cracks therefore we design and plant beam required to construct and building constructions right now the second purpose of plant beam to reduce the uneven settlement of the construction site because we have different types of settlement and soil and foundation so it reduced uneven settlement so therefore we design plant beam and building constructions right now the third one is also very important that's to connect all the columns if we don't provide plant beam and building so there are columns because the columns are very important in building construction so it connects all the columns with each other so therefore we provide plant beam right now here the fourth purpose of the plant beam is distribute superstructure load uniformly to the soil or substructure guys we have superstructure and substructure and building we design plant beam to transfer the load or walls the load walls are distribute the superstructure because above the plant beam that's called superstructure so plant beam distribute the superstructure load to the soil or substructure substructure means foundation right so therefore it must be provide in building constructions now here the other benefit of the plant beam is it provides additional stability in regard to settlements of the building and earthquake damages because during earthquake it makes more damages in foundation and it provides earthquake provides more settlement in the foundation so therefore we design plant beam to reduce or to avoid settlement during earthquake damages right now the last purpose of the plant beam is there are more purpose of plant beam but just these are very important which i am telling you in this video right now here the last purpose of the plant beam is it's indirectly 
increase the bearing capacity of soil if the bearing capacity of soil is low so there you must be provide plain beam so before some videos uh, i have also recorded one video uh, about uh, a raft foundation that where we can uh, design raft foundation so if the bearing capacity of the soil is very low so there we design raft foundation but if the bearing capacity of the soil is low so there you must be provide plant beam okay because plant beam indirectly increase the bearing capacity of soil because the soil surface is uh, the, the soil surface bearing capacity is very low so there we provide plant beam to increase the bearing capacity of that soil okay so these are some purpose uh, purpose of plant beam which i have discussed the front of you guys you can make a screenshot from this easily if you need so if you have any question about this video so you just comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye